Wave Church initiated the vision of legacy with one goal in mind, advancing the kingdom of God. As a church body, we are called to show people the love of God and build their lives through a relationship with Jesus. Wave Church is committed to sowing into five main areas of focus to broaden our reach both locally and globally. These areas of focus embody the whole vision of our church and is known as the five C's. Church, community, communication, college, and collective. Church planning is a vital part of our vision. We are committed to planning Wave Church campuses wherever we feel God is calling us to reach people. And this past year, through Legacy, we have received a permanent building for our Richmond location, which has been years in the making. We had been praying and believing for a new building for our church for the entire five years that we've been there. When we first started, they were starting to look for a building or maybe already had been. And we were praying and believing for that to happen. And several times they found a building and it didn't work out. And so that was very heartbreaking. We want a home, we wanted to be home. And so to find, when we first found out, it was just this unbelievable thought that that journey could come to an end and we could have a, a home. We didn't just attain a new building, but we have seen our Wave Richmond family grow and is now more equipped than ever before to reach the lost and build community. Churches, I think a church is so personal, you know. It's something that, it, as Julie was saying, like it's home. So it, for me, it was like, a, oh, these new people is coming to my home now, <laughs> you know. And how can I, how it's gonna be? But it's been so amazing. It's been such a blessing to see the life that is going in, into this building, into this building. The, to see two churches coming together to be one big family and with the main focus being the kingdom of God, people being saved. So that is just amazing. Um, probably one of the biggest things I've seen is um, being able to bring our talents together with RCCs, like two all-stars coming together. And there was so much talent on one side, so much talent on the other. And to see them come together with no like disagreements, and it was, it was unbelievable. The vision of Legacy does not stop here. We plan to continue to see more Wave Church campuses across the nation. Specifically, our vision is to see 20 Wave Church locations in the next 20 years. We don't build for a building's sake, we build to reach the lost. We build because there is a lost and hurting world waiting for the church to bring the good news of Jesus to where they are. It's, a, it's really unbelievable to think that giving through Legacy, now we get to be a part of helping other churches plant and grow and see them get buildings. It's really exciting to get to be a part of something so much bigger than who we are. And I'm excited to see what God can do and will do through Legacy. With every church plant, we want to partner with local programs that are making a positive impact in their communities. Wave City Care is just one of the many programs we partner with, and we want to see more lives impacted through this outreach. Wave City Care gets to be the hands and feet of the local church, where we educate, equip, and empower our local community, and we change lives one life at a time. And we do this through a variety of different ways. Uh, we educate students through our mentorship programs of Shine Girl and Manpower and Wave Cheer. We equip adults through our regeneration recovery program and Jobs for Life. And then we also help meet basic human needs through food distribution. Over the past 20 years, Wave City Care has been consistent through and through. We've been excellent in our services that we provide and we've shown compassion to every community, every individual we've ever reached out to. Even with the challenges of COVID, we did not draw back, but we were more intentional than ever to ensure people's needs were met. Two of our biggest events last year had a significant impact. Our two biggest events each year are Thanksgiving and Christmas. And last year we fed over 2,800 people, which is amazing. And we saw so much joy on that day from those families who were receiving those meals who otherwise didn't have the means to have and celebrate Thanksgiving with friends and family. And we were able to do that because of the giving and generosity of the local church and because of our strategic relationship with social services. And with our Christmas extravaganza event, although it looked a little bit different last year as well, we still reached over 600 children with 1,200 toys. And the relationships formed on that day really have a staying impact. So much so that two weeks prior to our event, I received a call from a mom who actually used to be a recipient of Wave City Care toys. And she wanted to reach out because she was in a position now where she could give back. So she reached out to us knowing that her donation was going to provide toys for up to 20 kids alone. And she remembered that Wave City Care and the local church were there 
ensuring that presence would be under the tree. This is just one of the lives we have impacted over the past 20 years due to our steadfast commitment in our communities. There are thousands of stories like this one all because of the part we play in legacy. Moving forward, we believe we can make a greater difference than ever before. What we see for Wave City Care moving forward is more lives impacted through our programs. We want to see over 400 young men be mentored through our Manpower program. We want to see over 400 girls come through our Shine Girl program. We want to see more athletes empowered through Wave Cheer. We want to see more people get jobs, keep jobs, and move up in the workplace through Jobs for Life. We want to see more families healed through regeneration, celebrating recovery, and lives made whole. We expect to expand our food distribution resources, and this is all gonna happen through our integral relationship with Wave Church and Wave City Care. And caring for our community has proven to expand beyond just our immediate reach. From the very beginning, Pastor Steve has felt a calling to reach beyond our four walls through various multimedia outlets, and 2020 proved that we, the church, need to be just as present online as we are in person. I mean, we see each week stories come in from our online campus and, and the impact that it's making on people's lives, on their hearts, and seeing them come into a relationship with Christ. You know, the great thing about 2020 is Wave Church in the middle of a crisis through Legacy was able to still continue and make mission central to our focus. See, the church doesn't stand alone uh, as an echo to society, but really as a beacon of hope and healing and community. And I had a conversation recently with Marjorie who lives in France. She was part of Wave Church many years ago, actually found our church through Wave TV, our local television show that we had at one point, and it's still very much in the future television ministry as part of our communication initiatives. But she emailed me just the other day and said, you know, one Sunday in France, I was feeling especially isolated and lonely missing my home church. Our online community over this past 12 months has become so much more than I ever thought it would or could be. Because she was watching the stream prior and now with the enhancements we've made to our OC, it's developed a, a relationship with her. She joined an online community group and said, even though we're online, a virtual community, there are real genuine relationships formed and forming and in reality, there's nothing virtual about our community at all. I love my church. I love my CG group, and I love my online community. And that's just one of the many stories that we've had the privilege of hearing over these last 12 months. And this is just the beginning of what the online campus plans to see accomplished as we continue to reach more people across all the platforms that we as the church have utilized. Yeah, it's been amazing over these last 12 months to see the growth on the online campus as we've become digital. You know, our YouTube platform, 23,000 hours of biblically-based teaching was streamed to over 1,100 subscribers. That's up almost 900% than the previous 12 months. Our Facebook platform, one million minutes of our Sunday services were viewed by thousands around the world. I mean, that's impact. Our Wave Church Live, where we broadcast the sites as well, 12,000 unique visitors came across those Sunday services. We believe that the surface has only just been scratched when it comes to the scalability and impact that is achievable through our online campus. When, when we talk about what lies ahead for our online campus, recently we just did a Zoom meet and greet in between services where myself and uh, several others from our online team hopped on with people from around the world and just put faces with names and begin to hear about their life stories. That's just a tip of the iceberg type moment. We're gonna start doing those on a more frequent basis. As well, we got online community groups that are forming and building, and as Marjorie's story attests to, impact is being had in those. And so we wanna create and continue to develop unique digital ways for people to connect and to build deeper relationships. And that's why it's so important that all of us play a part in legacy. As you invest into legacy, it really impacts and, and enhances the scalability of our reach through new and innovative ways and allows people to begin their spiritual next steps. Whether online or in person, our goal is to leave a legacy for the generations to come. That is why Wave Leadership College is such an essential part of our vision. WLC brings students together to develop a deeper understanding of who God is and builds a foundation for a generation to build their life on. My journey with Wave Leadership College was a great experience for me because I was coming right out of high school and then going into college. I didn't know much about who I was or what God created me to do or be. And I remember moving down there and I met just a great group of new friends. And after that, I started going to the classes and getting to know some of the teachers. And 
It was just a great foundation for me to start my life with because I was still discovering a lot about myself and my future of what God was working and doing in my life. And this helped really prepare me for the next season that God would have in store for my life. Students take the principles of leadership taught at WLC and bring it back to their local churches, cities, and workplaces to make a difference. Immediately after graduation, Trey was able to apply his studies back into Atlee Church, working with middle school and high school students as a youth pastor, and is now leading and thriving in an even greater capacity. And then just this year, we moved to our main campus right outside of Richmond and are now the campus pastors and teaching pastors at our main location. So I'm so grateful that that people partner with the local church. And I know for me, my foundation started at Wave Leadership College, and I'm so grateful for every single person that set that up and poured into that, even when it was small, to see what it's become now is just an incredible work of God. And it's just because of people like that give and help that really make a difference in that. I know for me, that was the foundation of my education. And so I'm so thankful that everybody that partners with the church and partners with this ministry in our college to really make a difference in the lives of students. Through our college, we want to continue to give rising students the skills and assets they need and equip them to do what God has called them to do. We also seek to help churches near and far through a network of like-minded pastors and leaders called Wave Collective. Collective gives churches the tools and guidance to continue the great works God has called their church to accomplish. We know there is a church for everyone, and through Legacy and the Collective, we can provide support to so many different churches all over the world. Instead of these churches leading on their own, through the Collective, they have a family support system joining alongside them. And the best thing about family is it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you're still connected relationally. Yeah. And uh, we still feel extremely connected to Wave Church and through the Collective this year, we've got some exciting news yeah. to share with you. And that is we will be planting a brand new church in yeah. the city of Newcastle, New South Wales this year. Yeah, we sure will. And you know, so much in the world has changed and there are so many uncertainties, but one thing is for sure, and that is that Jesus Jesus is still building his church and so our heart really is to go into Newcastle with that incredible message and bring it to the people of Newcastle. Through the mission and vision of Wave Church, we are honored to empower so many new churches launching like Pastor Adam and Marlies in Australia. What a privilege we have to assemble as the church, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And we know God isn't looking for a perfect church, He is looking for a willing people. May we see God move in our church, our lives and our cities like never before. There is no greater time to be the church and what an opportunity we have to fulfill the mission of Jesus. Thank you for being a part of the story of Wave Church. We have always been and will always be a church on kingdom mission. Thank you for those who have faithfully sown into the vision of legacy as we set out to do all that God has called us to do. Our prayer is that you would stay with us on the journey of giving generations to come a legacy worth leaving. God has done incredible things in our midst and we really believe the best is yet to come.